Vehicles going up Avenue of the Americas, 6th Avenue, from the area of the World Trade Towers. I'm here, however, with Matthew Sukeni. President Bush talked about this being a test, and in every crisis there are people who come forward and put themselves to the test. Matthew Sukeni is among those people. Matthew Sukeni and his friends are construction workers. You were working up on 28th Street and you walked down to the World Trade Towers. Tell us what happened. That's correct. Uh, when we got down there, we were directed by uh, police and fire department to uh, attend the command center and find out where we would be most useful. And at that time, we were helping uh, with the, the fire department with stretch hoses, uh, couple hoses, uh, moving debris out of the way to get fire trucks in closer to the, the actual site of the, the explosions. There was numerous explosions still occurring as we were down there. Um, what was it like on the ground there, Matthew? What did you see? Tragedy. It was chaos. I mean, uh, the main concern, I guess, from their point of view, was to secure the area at first. But my concern was for the people that might be buried. And unfortunately, they have, you know, they have that their, uh, you know, their 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 process that they go through as far as safety. There was. Uh, debris that was loose on the buildings, on the corners of the buildings that could have fallen off and injured fire department uh, uh, employees, police department, uh, Port Authority police, there was Army. Uh, and you were just a volunteer, you and your friends right. were construction workers who were right. able-bodied. My boss, his brother, and myself from New York Sign Erectors walked down from 28th. Didn't figure we'd get the truck down there. We had a crane truck. We could have moved, uh, moved debris for them with the crane truck, but we just walked down. And uh, luckily, we were able you know, to, to, to lend a hand. And, you were moving and everyone debris. can do the same thing. I mean, everyone is, I'm sure it would be welcome down there. It's a serious effort in place down there. Well, we say everyone. We're talking about able-bodied men and women. We're right, talking about course. people who can actually clear debris. Absolutely. I mean, not even so much. I mean, at times we were carrying uh, water to firemen who were coming out and they had asbestos and fiberglass in their eyes. We were rinsing their eyes for them. Whatever we could do down there to help is what we were doing. So we don't want people to get too close to the scene, but if anybody right, can not. get... Well, they won't allow you to get too close to get To get as close scene. as they can get, water would be helpful. Anybody who is actually physically able to help clear the scene. Right. They have a command center set up on West Side Highway that, uh, they're, you, know, that you can go to to accept volunteers. Um, I would imagine water, uh, sandwiches, anything, pizzas, anything that anyone could donate, I'm sure would be welcome, because these guys are really going hard at it down there. Dave uh, is over here, and Dave does not want to be on TV, but Dave, if you can just tell me, where, do you know exactly where on the West Side Highway is the command post? West Side Highway at the overhead bridge by World Trade Center, one block north of Church Street. And you think that if people bring pizza, bring water, bring anything things? Anything you can, bring just moral support, because these people are going to be down there for days. Okay. One of the concerns here for these folks also is that a relative was in the building. Dave, can you tell me what floor the relative was on? Is it too much to talk about? John, David, man, call home. All right. Basically, um, Matthew, maybe you can help us here. Um, people are very overcome. We are several blocks from where the towers exploded. But what we want to tell everybody is that if they have a concern about a relative, there are things to do. I noticed that we put up a number earlier, and you can call that number to find out if your relative or your friend got out. Uh, Matthew, you have a friend, a close friend and a relative of Dave's in the building. Dave's cousin, yes. He was an electrician. I'm not sure which floor he was working on with Local 3. Uh, from what I understand, there was close to 100 electricians on the job, which could very well have been affected. Uh, I'm not sure. We're not sure at this point. But, uh, I mean, first and foremost, I mean, let's all put it together and, and, and display some humanity and get down there and, and do, what it, do what we need to do. We all live in this place together. It's a good place to live. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's, it's horrifying to know that that's going on. There's people buried down there. And if that people can, if they're accepting the help, there's no reason why it shouldn't be there. Okay, we're so going to take a break and we're going to go back down later. I just have to get the fiberglass off of my body and I'm going back down this evening. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank, Thank you. you. I want to shake your hand. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you Thanks. And I hope Dave's cousin is, is fine. I hope everybody else who has a relative finds out really quickly whether or not the relative is safe. And uh, there's really nothing more I can say from here, but we will keep you posted. Back to you in the studio right now. I'm Barbara Nevis Taylor reporting live. All right, we're now joined by a terrorism expert, Phil Phil Pilevsky. Mm -hmm. Nice Please, to have uh, you here. Now, what you. makes you an expert in terrorism? Well, I've written a book on uh, called The Captive Continent that uh, details uh, terrorism in the Mideast and Russia. Now, have you heard earlier in the day, we heard that the Democratic Front of the Liberation of Palestine had claimed responsibility for this act. Now they're saying uh, they didn't do it. Have you ever heard about this group before? Uh, it is very unlikely that it's it, that it's a, that group. It, the chances are very likely it's uh, the group in Afghanistan led by Osama bin Laden, and uh, it's either 
directly or indirectly, it, uh, it probably is that uh, Islamic group. Okay. We, we're sorry to have to interrupt you. We will come back to you, but uh, I believe we are going to go to John Rowland, who is in the newsroom. He has an update for us. John. Well, and I just want to talk a little bit about the children uh, of our city. They, they, they are still in the schools. And what the, uh, if you're concerned about your child, what, what the Board of Ed is doing is this. They're going to keep the children in the schools uh, until a regular time when they're going to be dismissed as usual. Uh, they're going to keep the teachers, the principals, the assistant principals there to make sure everyone is safe. They are going to put them on the buses uh, uh, 